Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading today. I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading. Um, I hope you guys are okay, Aquarius. Okay, so um, before I recorded this one, I was supposed to, uh, I recorded an Aquarius video and somehow it just like um, vanished. I don't know where it went, but I'm sensing that you guys are going through a paradigm shift at this time okay you guys are going through a shift in your life so that was weird because i know i remember like i recorded it and then i saved it and i saw it in the safe uh in my photo album and then when i went back to look at it it wasn't there okay so that's a bit weird scrap that reading could have been that reading was about me spirit was trying to get that message to me but you know <laughs> okay so anyways let's see what's going on with you guys Aquarius. okay so mm. wow okay Aquarius. so you got seven of cups Page of Pentacles and Hermit. Okay, you got Seven of Cups, Page of Pentacles, and Hermit. Right now, you are in the middle of deciding where you want to go in life, which which path to take in life, and you have a lot of options right now. I'm hearing that you have a lot of options in the Seven Cups, but I'm hearing also I'm also hearing that not all the options are the best options for you. So, uh, please use your dis discernment when making these decisions for yourself, because I'm seeing that because the Hermit is a major arcana, it uh, also means that um, it's time for you guys to look within. Okay, there's something that you guys are not noticing within yourself. Okay, and you need to see this within yourself. It says here on the book. Oh, I thought I said something. It just says the hermit. I'm seeing some of you guys are working late into the night. Okay, um, working at something or even, you know, thinking, thinking, thinking late into the night. I'm, I'm, I'm sensing some of you are, um, mm, yeah, in this dreamy state at night. It's almost like you guys go into this dreamy state and then uh, you fall asleep and then you start getting a lot of dreams. Yes, that's what I'm sensing. Okay, so um, there is an offer coming in for you. I'm sensing there is an offer coming in for you. You could be dealing with a younger earth sign. And uh, I would like to say that this card came out in the last reading that I did for you guys, uh, that the one that I lost. So this card came out. Okay, so this this you're in a dreamy state at this time okay you're more in um, it's almost like you mm, I'm hearing astral projection okay you don't really some of you don't even realize that you're doing this you're astral projecting okay and um, it, it's almost like you are trying to manifest through astral projection and it is kind of working but you need to um, take time to be with yourself at this time too okay so um, try not to be around too many um, energies around you at this time because I feel like you are be you are sensitive okay at this time you are um, I'm hearing that the uh, I don't know what's going on with your life right now but I'm hearing that the universe is pushing you to um, get into this hermit mode because you are supposed to be enlightened about something um, through study through through reading even okay because that's obvious she's got a book there through reading through study um i'm hearing that um you might be getting inspiration through books okay um so any book that you feel guided to pick up 
all right um that you feel your use your intuition when you're choosing a book and i'm pretty sure there's going to be a message in there for you or or some sort of inspiration that will spark up okay something that inspires you okay in in in, in these books or book okay this particular book i don't know um there is someone trying to come in with a small offer okay it's a small token um, it could be an earth sign like I said earth sign could be a Virgo because hermit okay could be a Virgo and um, this person might come in with a business proposition or just an offer of friendship uh, um, Try not to be too guarded about this, okay? Because this person might um, bring in some sort of um, what am I hearing? I'm hearing enlightenment. This person has a message for you, okay? This person has a message for you, so pay attention to that, okay? I'm also hearing don't worry about finances it's trickling in I'm hearing trickling trickling in okay um, all right so trickling in I'm also hearing spirits say that yes uh, please do um, um, what do you call it sift through your options one by one okay don't make any hasty decisions when um because there's a lot of things coming in for you at this time i'm hearing there's a lot of there will be a lot of offers coming in to you at this time but um i'm hearing that you might be interested in just one and it's from this earth sign okay it doesn't have to be in love it doesn't have to be specifically in career it could be you know uh, um just fit it in your situation as you want to okay whether it be career or love okay and um, I'm hearing hmm yeah you're coming to the end of a very a burdensome cycle something that you have been going through this is a very um, taxing cycle for you and you're coming to the end of it you're closing it out that's what i'm hearing you're closing out this taxing cycle okay aquarius moving on Okay, I'm hearing that be careful not to be too much in your Queen of Swords energy at this time. Um, don't just <laughs> don't hastily cut things out of your life. Okay, um, I'm seeing that uh, with the Five of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Page of Wands. It's almost something. Or it's it's like you're being easily triggered at this time <laughs> easily triggered at this time so it's it's almost like oh uh, I'm just gonna cut 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 all these things out of my life but there are some things that you um, I'm hearing that you need to to slow down with cutting things out of your life you might cut out something that's important to you okay that's so something valuable to you okay it's valuable to your 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 path that's what i'm hearing okay especially when it comes to this um virgo i'm also sensing that you might you guys might uh 
<laughs> before you make friends with this uh, earth sign, this particular earth sign. It could be another air sign. Okay, could be another air sign. I'm sensing, but you might get into some sort of altercation with this person. I'm sensing, okay, but it's gonna turn out okay. Um, Pay attention to birds. I'm hearing pay attention to birds. Birds are a sign for you at this time. I don't know why I'm seeing a peacock. I'm seeing a peacock at this time. Um, hmm. I'm hearing that the peacock might be your um, power animal at this time. Okay, so please go and look at uh, look up what a peacock means, and obviously not a pink crow, right? <laughs> we don't have any pink crows. I wish we had pink crows, right? They would be cute. Um, yeah, someone is triggering you. Okay, and this someone will be triggering you, but try and not be so too hostile when it comes to dealing with triggers all right um go within uh i'm hearing like go within and 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 i'm, I'm seeing you studying i'm seeing you um reading up on something or studying something or researching research that's the word research you're researching something okay so at this time you're doing a lot of uh researching and stuff and you uh, i'm sensing that you might be meeting up with this um earth sign okay i'm gonna call out the signs right now okay so you might be meeting another air sign another earth sign or um tiny bit of fire sign tiny bit um, yeah I'm seeing seven of cups here but I'm, I'm not sensing this person is a water sign I'm sensing that yeah, it could be but I'm sensing this is more you you being in your dreamy state okay and um, uh, did I mention astral projection just now but because I'm sensing that some of you might be um, dabbling in in astral projection in manifesting through astral projection okay so it's more or less like visualizing but in in a more vivid way right astral projection okay yeah all right so i'm gonna pull out a oracle card for you guys and the oracle that i'm going to be using today is work your light right and Let's see what my angels have to say. Sorry, Work Your Light by Rebecca Campbell. Let's see that. Okay. I'm sensing that your thoughts are a bit scattered at this time. Even even when you're trying to meditate or, or yeah, when you're trying to get that quiet time, it feels like... I'm sensing that your thoughts are being a lot uh, scattered. You are being, yeah, um, I'm sensing that um, you're fighting with your mind a lot, okay? Um, try not to do that too much. Don't fight with uh, your mind, okay? When you fight with your mind, it's almost like you're, you're, you're fighting with your ego, okay? Um, a lot of thoughts, a, a lot of um, triggering thoughts are coming up at this time. So I think that's why you need to uh, try and channel that out into uh, the research work that you're doing. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. One more shuffle. Mm. 
you guys got two oracle cards wow three that is amazing okay three just flipped over and i'm guided to take all three okay so leap you go first the universe will catch you okay it says here leap can you see that card such a pretty card you go first and the universe will catch you okay and then the next oracle card you got was Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. This is what it means. This is what I I'm sensing this research. Okay, this research coming from this 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 card. Um, yeah, you're laying new foundations for yourself. Okay, you're laying new foundations for yourself, and you're laying new foundations for new ideas to sprout, new ideas to grow. Okay. Um, keep doing your research. I'm also sensing that, uh, okay, so the Aries full moon is coming up very, very soon. And um, I'm seeing that something prominent might be happening during the full moon for you guys. Next full moon. If not this Aries full moon, then the next full moon, which is yay in, um, on Halloween. Okay, so you might be, something prominent might be happening on a full moon for you. Okay, so look out for that. Okay, and the last card, Priestess, look at you, look at you Aquarius, okay, you are in this mode right now, your intuition is fired up, your third eye is fired up, I don't remember which sign I was doing earlier, but I told the sign to go and um, get Amethyst, and this is a particular Amethyst that I use um, uh, for, for readings and for my third eye, so I think amethyst is also good for you at this time um, any lilac colored crystal right lilac purple any of those um, shades right priestess how are you being called to step up and lead Okay, you are the leader of your own reality. Okay, no one gets to tell you how to live your life. No one gets to tell you how you make your decisions or what kind of decisions you want to make in life. Okay, no one gets to tell you that. You get to tell you that. Okay, Aquarius, you're being called to lead. First of all, lead yourself, lead your life, lead who you are, and then naturally you're going to teach yourself how to lead and you'll be able to lead other people okay what else am i sensing you were in planning mode at this time this is what i'm hearing planning mode laying down foundations so that anything that grows from these foundations grows really well and grows healthily, right? And I'm being guided to read from one of these cards. I'm not going to read all of them because it's going to take ages. Um, I'm going to read from one of these cards. Definitely this priestess one. How are you being called to step up and lead? The priestess is a teacher dedicated to service, freedom and leadership. You don't need to have it all together to lead. In fact, it helps if you don't. No one wants a perfect angel who hasn't made any mistakes. Let your life be your message. Don't underestimate the power of sharing your story. It's by hearing someone else's journey that we feel less alone. We realize that we're actually all 
in this thing called life together. The difference between a follower and a leader is that a leader has the courage to go first. In stepping out, they shine a light on the path for others to venture forwards too. Don't fret too much about trying to work out who is your tribe. Don't get stuck in age, income, hobbies or occupation. The best way to discover your tribe is to look in the mirror. If you feel called to lead, chances are it is because at some point in your life you longed for someone to lead you. Your tribe is longing for exactly the same thing as you were and are and might only be one step behind you. Hell, they may even be right alongside you. You don't need anyone's permission, just the courage to stand up. Embrace your struggles, the peaks, the troughs. You don't need to know the way, just believe that there might be a different one. Your tribe is waiting for you. Step forward so they can find you. How are you being called to step up and lead? How can you be the leader you wish you had? All right, Aquarius, so I'm going to end that reading there. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. And um, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Um, and also comment if you want. Um, if you want to book any personal readings with me, um, you can uh, find all the details below. Email me and we can work something out. But for the meantime, I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much, Aquarius. Bye.